So, there was this mysterious town in America that has vanished from the pages of time and would have been completely forgotten were it not for a Dr. Stuart Wolf who taught medicine at the University of Colorado. Wolf would spend his summers on a Pennsylvania farm and at one point gave a medical seminar there, after which a local doctor, Falcone, Benjamin Falcone, said to him over a few beers, Stuart, I've been practicing medicine in this town for 16 years. And you may not believe this, but I rarely find anyone here under 55. In fact, I never find anyone here under 55 dying of heart disease. It doesn't happen. Not only that, but the mortality from all diseases is so much less, but especially heart disease, especially heart disease and dementia. Well, Dr. Wolf was intrigued so much that when he returned to Colorado, he organized a large group of researchers who came back to this area to investigate the matter. Heart disease was the number one and is still the number one killer in America. He wanted to know if this was accurate. They stayed there for a month in the summer. All manner of medical testing, blood pressure, blood sugar, serum cholesterol, everything imaginable at the disposal of medical science. This was in the early 60s, where again, heart disease was the number one killer and still is today on January, 2022. Well, what did they find? The town opened their, their they opened their town, these people for this, this investigative research project. And it continued there as their, years thereafter as a follow-up to see what developed. They found this was true. These people had one half the mortality from heart disease as the neighboring towns and the rest of the nation. They had one third of the mortality from all other diseases. How? How does this happen? What is it about this town? <laughs> you know what cutting the, the death rate from heart disease one half, 50% would do? How many lives would be saved? So what was it? I'm asking you, what was it? What accounted for this dramatic, dramatic health of these, this particular town? The town's name was Rosetto, PA. It's a town of about 2,000 people. They had healthy hearts, so much healthier than the rest of the country. Their health was so much healthy in every way than the rest of the country including the neighboring towns. They had no drug addiction, no suicide, no depression, no crime, no homelessness, no welfare. So Dr. Stewart and his team, by the way, there was a um, sociologist named John Bruns who also came along, which was a 
a brilliant move because this wasn't just about physical health. After months of testing, it was determined that Dr. Falcone, who practiced medicine in Rosetta, Pennsylvania, was absolutely correct. These people had a much lower rate of heart disease and dementia and, and even all other diseases, but most profoundly heart disease. What was it? What did they come up with? They know this was true, but why? Wherefore? What's the answer? How did these people become so healthy? in their heart and every other, in their minds? How is there no drug addiction here? No crime, no homelessness. Have you seen the homeless people in the street everywhere you go? Have you seen the crime? Do you read the newspapers? There was no crime in this town. Wherefore, why? What's your answer? I'm asking you. Was it the food they ate? Must have been their diet, right? Maybe they exercised more than everybody else in the nation. Maybe they did Pilates, whatever Pilates is. Maybe they did yoga every morning. Maybe they meditated, deep breathing. Maybe they loved their work. Maybe it was none of that. Maybe they just loved their work. That does make you healthier. That does make you happier. And if you're happier, you're healthier. That's been established. What was it? Diet? Exercise? Yoga? Pilates? Whatever that is. Meditation? Deep breathing? They love their work? Did they take a special pill of some kind, some drug that made them healthier and happier? These were happy people. No, it was none of the above. Why? Diet? Their diet, they consume more cholesterol-laden foods than the rest of the nation. They had a high-fat diet. 40% of their calories was from fat. And that's the, that was what we've been told all these years to this day is the number one cause of heart disease. Yes, they had their meatballs and spaghetti. In fact, they cooked their meatballs in lard. The cholesterol in the beef wasn't bad enough. They cooked it in lard, 100%. What's that, 100% cholesterol? They ate sweets. They were overweight. They drank. They smoked. They drank freely. They drank, their preferred beverage was wine over soda or milk. What was it? No, they didn't exercise. There were no gyms there. No, they didn't meditate. They didn't do deep breathing. No Pilates, whatever that is. None of that. They weren't into drugs. What was it? What was it about this mysterious town that seemed to defy all the laws of good health that were always taught How could they be, how could their, their cardiovascular systems be so much superior to everybody else's in not only the rest of the nation, but nearby town? Was it the water? Was it the water? Maybe the water. Something in the water. No. The water was the same as neighboring towns who had the same rate of heart disease and other diseases as the rest of the United States. I mean, it was their genes. We, we like to achieve. We know, when we don't have answers in medicine, we blame genes. 
It's your, we either say it's in your head or it's in your genes. No, it wasn't their genes. Because the people who were relatives of these, these people in Rosetta, when they moved elsewhere, they had the same rate of disease as the rest of the nation. Well, stay tuned. We'll talk about wherefore. How these people became so, so much healthier, not only healthier, but happier. 